I'm Anna Almarini with Solar Reviews, and today we're going to be talking through our solar's top solar questions. So, I think I'm, why can't I think now? I forgot it. I know. What is the deal with free solar panels? This is false advertising. If you see anything that says free solar, run away. Solar is growing so quickly that a lot of companies are trying to take advantage of homeowners. The solar panels will be installed for free, but you will actually end up owing the company money each month for the electricity that they're generating, profiting off of your roof space. So just don't bother. Free is not real. Do solar panels overheat? Not really. They're tested at their optimal temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and they're built to withstand up to temperatures of 149 degrees, which isn't really gonna happen that often. This really is not the time to get into the optimal temperature coefficient of your panels, but really what you need to know is when the temperature does increase, the efficiency of your panels will decrease, but not so much that your panels won't work. You'll probably not even notice a difference on a hot summer day. So all in all, they do not overheat. When they do get hot, they are a little bit less efficient, but nothing you need to worry about. Are solar panels worth it? Not for everyone. To make solar panels worth it, you need to own your home, have a roof in good shape that is free of shade, can afford paying for solar outright, or obtaining a solar loan. If this sounds like you, sounds like solar is a good option. And we're gonna plug ourselves a little here. Solarreviews.com is a good way to research it. It's no surprise that another common question is, are solar batteries worth it? They are becoming much more popular, but solar batteries are expensive. They can be up to $15,000. There is a common misconception that they'll keep your power on for days during a power outage, but that's not the case. Skip a battery if you can earn money from the excess electricity that you send to the grid. Get the battery if you want it for use during times when your solar panels are not producing power, like overnight and for short stints during a power outage that can power a few appliances and to store excess energy to charge an EV. They are great for an emergency, but they're not a perfect off-grid solution. To answer the question, solar batteries are worth it in the right conditions. This Reddit user wants to know what they should consider before going solar, <laughs> and unfortunately for me, that's the first question I get anytime anybody asks or finds out that I work in solar myself. So here's a quick bulleted list so that I don't have to answer that question ever again. First thing to consider is what are your local electricity rates? If you live in a state like Massachusetts where electricity rates are really high, solar is a better option for you. But if you're in North Dakota, it might not be worth it. The best part about solar is the savings that they provide. And if your electricity is already cheap, you might not need it. Is your roof in good condition and relatively new? When you install solar panels, it's important to have a good roof because a few years down the line, if you need to get your roof replaced, that will be a lot of work taking off the panels and putting them back on. So it's best to start fresh with a new roof and solar panels that can last you 25 years, warranted. This is often overlooked, but a south facing roof is the best for solar. It isn't the be all end all. If your roof isn't facing south, you can still get solar panels. It's just ideal. Having a south facing roof is an easier yes for you. Should I clean snow off of my solar panels or let it melt? Look, if it's safe to do so, you can and you should because your solar panels won't be producing electricity if there's snow on top of them. But usually it will melt pretty quickly. You should invest in getting snow guards that go at the top of your solar panels. So this way, when the snow melts, the snow guard will stop it and not let it so that they slide right down onto somebody walking below. The most common question that we see all throughout our solar is people posting their quotes asking if it's a fair price. It really depends on your individual case. There is no way to really answer this question in a general manner. There are different prices for solar in different locations, and there's not really one good price for solar. We did write a really helpful article for you to understand your solar quote, and we'll link that below. We hope this was helpful. We try to answer all of the solar community's questions on our blog on solar reviews, so definitely check it out. And we've linked all of the blogs explaining these topics further in the comments below. Thanks for watching.